Okay, for VEX VR activity number nine, Storm the Castle, we're going to want to be in our Playground Castle Crasher. So I'm going to come over to my VEX VR code. And for this one, I've actually already written the code. I'm just going to talk you through what I did, and then we can hit play to simulate the level, each level. So we're in Castle Crasher. Level one, drive around the castle and knock over all five buildings by driving the VR robot into them. Okay, so you can see right here, you can see this is my entire code for this level. We started with our drive and turn velocity set to 100 as usual. And it's going to really help in this level if you remember that the overall size of our playground is about 1,600 millimeters. We learned that in the maximize perimeter activity. And that kind of lets us pinpoint all these corners and how far we actually have to drive to them. So I start off by driving forward 800 millimeters, and then I turn right and I knock over each of the right side corners, and then I come over and I knock over each of the left side. It's pretty standard. You'll see when I hit play as the, the green will highlight which step we're on. Um, you also notice too, I do not have my marker tool down for this one. We don't need it for these levels because you'll be able to tell when these castles get knocked over that you actually move to that point. I don't need to see your path. So let's hit play for level one. So we're moving forward, set turn. If they don't fully knock over, that's okay. As long as they move out of place, you know, it means you hit it at least. There we go. So now we're turning left. And again, you can see I'm moving 1600 millimeters to get from each corner to the next. That's about the distance they are. So there's our level one. For our level two, we need to drive around the castle and push each of the four small buildings off the playground. So we're not going to touch this center one. We're just going to push these four off. If you don't knock them fully off, that's okay. More of the idea here is now, rather than just hitting them, we have to drive a little bit farther. So there are, you know, a couple different distances. And we're actually recognizing that outside of this red square, it drops off. And so if I actually, I can show you this in the 3D view first, you can kind of see when this falls off, it drops right off. So that also means that your robot can fall off the edge of this playground if you're not careful. So again, I start with my set velocity, turn velocity to 100. And now I'm just driving around similar to what I just did, driving to all different buildings and knocking them over or pushing them off the edge. See, there's building two. Doesn't quite fall off, that's okay. But you do recognize that you can't drive too far because you will fall off like some of these pieces have been doing. Okay, so there's our level two. Here's the code for it. You can see it's just a long chain of driving, turning, knocking it over, turning to the next one. Okay, so there's our level two. For level three, we need to be driving around this entire playground and clear every building on the entire playground off the side. Now, you know, you may think that's going to be a lot of driving, a lot of changing directions. You hit each piece exactly, or we can set up a code to run forever until we hit stop. So we're going to start off with our set drive velocity, set turn velocity to 100 as usual. Then we're going to go down, we're going to use this under control. We're going to use this forever bracket. Under control, you have this forever right here. This allows basically whatever's inside of that, it's going to run forever until we hit the stop button. Inside of that, we're going to say, okay, let's start off. We're going to drive forwards. So we're just going to keep going forwards until we, or if we hit, or detect this. So we're gonna, in forever, we're gonna drive forwards. Then I'm gonna go down to my control again. We're using this if then. Basically what this code is saying, if whatever this is happening in here happens, then we're gonna do this. Then it'll go back up to the, stop, to the top of the forever and keep driving. So we're gonna drive forwards if our under sensing our 
down eye detects red. Right here, you notice it says front eye, but you can the down arrow and select down eye. So there's a little sensor on the front of that's facing downward. If that sensor detects the color red, we may picked red because the border of our playground is red, then it's going to turn for 100, turn right for 125 degrees and then keep going back up to this drive forward. And then it'll keep driving forward until it hits red again. And it'll do that forever until we hit stop. So our hope is eventually that this would cover all the area of the playground and would allow us to knock all the buildings off. So let's hit play. See what happens. We won't watch the whole thing. But okay, so it goes knocks over. See it hit red, stopped, it turned right 125 degrees. Now we keep going. And it'll keep doing this until we hit the stop button. So you would just have to let yours run until you fully knock over the pieces. It shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, if that. See, we're already knocking pretty much everything over and pushing a lot of the pieces off. And you would just have to go through and let this play out until all the pieces on your playground have been knocked off. And then take the screenshot of your robot somewhere on the empty playground. Okay, hope this video is helpful. If you still have questions, let me know. Other than that, we'll see you for the next activity. Thanks for watching.